All right, how's it going? Today we're going to install a NEMA 2000 cable from my Honda up to the Simrad. So I got power isolator. It's a T. I don't think I'll need that. These are terminators. Power. And this will be the cable that runs from my Honda up to the Simrad. So I've never done this before, so I'm hoping I do it right. I don't know too much about the Neva stuff, but I know this cable hooks on, uh, I believe this, this connector here. It's the right one. So then I can read all my gauges, fuel consumption, everything of that sort. So, I gotta fish the wire up through the rigging. So that'll be fun. And then run it up to the console. Alright, see how it goes. Alright, so here's underneath. This is what I already have, which runs to my radar up to the Simrad. So, I gotta like kind of reconfigure this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I never worked with this NEMA stuff before, but uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Gotta run the fish tape through my rigging tube there out to the back. So that'll be the hardest part. And then we just gotta sort all the connectors out. I gotta run some power over to this bus bar. I wanna clean up this wiring at some point. I really don't like how messy it is in here. But yeah, stay tuned. Uh... All right, y'all, it's a couple days later. Finally got the fish tape from the console up here. My fiberglass one wasn't cutting it. So I used my metal fish tape. Finally got it through. So that is up here. I don't want to climb the bait right now. That is up here, coming up through the rigging tube. So I got to run my other fish tape through here, but put a string on there. So I'm gonna take this part off, loosen the rigging uh, tube up a little bit. So then I can run the cable into the transom here. Then we'll run another rope through here, or just tape it up to the fish tape. Then we can pull it up to the console. And that's the hard part. Then I can just hook up all the Nemo stuff. All right, so I got the plate off of here. So I need to take this bracket off and undo the plastic piece. And there's like one hole in here. So you can run the NEMA cable through and up through the rigging. So just gotta get this off to a tight. So I'll figure All right, so I got this out. Um, I'm going to do, there's extra like passage here in the middle. This one. So I'm going to cut a slit inside of here so I can put the wire in there. I assume that's what this one's for. But that should work. That way this thing isn't too crammed with everything. So Alright, got the fish tape through, ran a string, taped onto my NEMA cord. So now I'll get in the boot, try to pull this through, and hopefully I won't get hung up. I only got three feet to go, so all right got that back together here's my nema cable plugs right in up here this is a bf-150 so i think every Honda's different, but they're all in the front here somewhere. So there's Nemo. Ran that in. Got this all back together. It's a little tight. Getting all those cables back in that uh, puck. So we'll go ahead and fish it under the console and get up to the console. Then we can wire up the back vent. Alright, gonna go ahead and pull cool. wire up the console. string so then I'll uh, hook the end of the cable onto this I'm gonna run another rope on there also through here in case I need to run anything through in the future I already have a rope ran because it was a pain getting the fish tape pet the last couple inches Scott. 
not. All right, wires through. I ran the second string through here that we'll just leave in the rigging tube in case I need to run anything in the future. That'd be handy. The magnets always have a string in there. All right, so backbone is rigged up here. This is what it'll look like. Um, I just need to figure out power on this little power block here. So I hook my power up. Then I'll test it out before I fit it. I'll probably mount it up there right below the tarp water. So we got outboard here. Power isolator. So you need that so it doesn't back feed into the electronics. And you want your power in the middle from what I read. Um, yeah. Then GPS. Uh, this is my radar. And this goes to unit. And terminator on the end terminator on the end so that should be how it works if not I will let you know because I have no idea what I'm doing I've never done this before so yeah uh, stay tuned for a minute here I'll see if I can figure figure out how I'm gonna run this and make it all look halfway decent all right y'all so I got it figured out and it works took out the power also isolator because apparently the Honda cable already has one in it so this is an order I did and it works so there's power outboard GPS radar then I stitch our potter and a terminator on each end and it works so I'll show you on the sim in a second sorry for the wind is blowing like 40 today let's see the trees shaking wait for this thing to power up I've noticed this thing is kind of slow. It just lags sometimes. Compared to my car. Jesus, this wind. I apologize. I'm gonna load up. All right. So if you go to settings, go down here to network, then device list, and there you go. It shows everything. So I turn the key on. There's the Honda. And it will show that's for my compass, which is right here. External compass, uh, antenna, I think that's the same thing. Um, and the GPS. And yeah. Yeah, I think that's something to do with the radar. But yes, there's a motor. You can get data. And I will show all your stats here temps, RPM, gallons per hour. Um, I think the hours, yeah. 135 hours. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Trim percentage. So yeah, there you go. So next step is cleaning up the wiring underneath. I'm try to clean up some of this stuff. And then I'm gonna mount the NEMA up here below the truck potter. I'm trying to make it look somewhat clean. So I'll uh, work on this and then I'll uh, show y'all when I'm done. All right. Got it all secured up there. Labeled everything. I heard much I can do to clean this up. Uh, maybe one day I'll redo everything. It's kind of cluttered for my liking, but this should work. Um, yeah, happy with it. Now I got room to add on if I add anything else on here. So. All right, motor's running. It's all hooked up. So here I got my. Fuel mileage reading. There's RPMs. See here also. And my engine temperature, which is there. Which is still cold, but uh, let's see my alternator, my turn percentage. It's a different one. Yeah, I'll mess with this a little bit, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.